Rise up within us, rise up within us. Likara mandara bala, kara mandara bala, kara mandara bala sya. O Ramashar, have your way, Holy Spirit God. Have your way in this place, Lord Jesus. Lord, we commit to all of us, Lord, into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Good evening to all of you. I'm so happy to see you all Same. again this year. Amen. And God is with you. Hallelujah. And this evening, God is looking at us to do something in our lives. Amen. Always God, He plans and He accomplishes. So this evening, God wants to say one thing. Get into your rest. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When we think about rest, we think always uh, we want to uh, leave all of our duties and we should be, uh, we want to feel ourselves free and out from all of our work. So, get into the rest that is always that is very important in our spiritual life. In other sense, we can say, a rest that shows whatever already God has accomplished. And God is expecting us to enter into the plan or whatever He has done that has to be received by us. So rest is the main uh, source that has uh, released for our lives. Uh, so rest, in other sense, we can say that is the plan of God on our lives. Amen. So before He formed the or created the whole world, He planned about everything. And we all, we are predestined by God in Jesus. So, God, He knew us before we have formed in our mother's womb. So whatever God has planned, that is always, that will remain. And God wants us to enter into the plan, whatever already He has planned, so that that will that will be our rest. So in the history of Israelites, there we can find God God expected Israelites to enter into the promised land. So the whole Bible that reveals the plan of God about the people and also about the whole world. So, at present, now we are in, in the scene and uh, God is looking at us to do something in our lives. So, in the creation, when we see whatever He has planned, all that that has been created and when He completed His creation, for six days there, on the seventh day, he ordained as rest and he said, Sabbath, that is, we can see in uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 9 says, There remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God, for anyone who enters God's rest, also rest from his own work just as God did from His. Let us therefore make every effort to enter the rest so that no one will fall by following their example of disobedience. So always uh, through obedience we all we can enter into the rest or enter into the plan of God. And what all 
already God has planned and kept ready for us. There, God is expecting us, uh, ourselves, we have nothing to do on our own to attain something. But whatever God kept ready and God is expecting us to enter into his plan and whatever he has accomplished. Hallelujah. So, in the whole history we can find we are in the seventh dispensation. So, always we see there will be a beginning and the end. So, when we attain the purposes of God, that will be the rest that we can have in our lives. So, till we achieve the plan of God in our lives, we cannot say that we have entered into the rest. So, we are walking towards the rest and we are looking unto the plan of God and if we have faith and if we always feel ourselves, we are in the plan of God and we have achieved the plan. There we see God is going to fight on behalf of us. We are here and nothing to do on our own. But if we have faith on God, then certainly God will fight on behalf of us so that we are going to enter into the rest. That means we are going to achieve the plan what God has on our lives. And that is going to glorify God. Because whatever God has planned in the creation and we see year after year and we are going towards the plan of God and into the accomplishment of God. So, almost we are in the end days. And whatever God spoke in the Bible, everything that is being accomplished and uh, nothing that is going to uh, vanish or uh, disturbed because our God is a mighty God. Amen. So we can see how great our God is. With God nothing is impossible. Whatever he spoke, he was able to accomplish. Amen. So here each one of us, we are here in this world to enter into the plan of God. And that is the rest that is waiting for us. So if we cannot enter into the rest, there will be called as disobedience. So disobedience always that causes destruction and separation from God. And it is not, uh, it doesn't glorify God. But if we obey God, so the Bible that is totally about talking about the obedience to God. So all creation that is meant for a special purpose. It has a purpose in creating the whole world. And we are also a part of his creation to get into his purposes and to attain his uh, plan through our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Each one of us this evening, God is Hallelujah. saying, you are very, very Amen. important. Amen. So, he doesn't want to miss any one of us here. There, we are placed in the perfect will of God Amen. so that we can glorify our God by entering into his rest. Amen. So, in the history we we'll find uh, there are seasons one after one how God was uh, interfering in the lives of the people who are open to him. There they were uh, like uh, going uh, step one step after another uh, towards the goal. So in the creation we can see seven dispensations 
it has started with the status of uh, Adam and Eve as they were innocent. So first dispensation is called as the dispensation of innocence. So they were without sin and uh, they were uh, made or uh, created in the image of God and they had only one uh, commandment that is they should not eat the fruit of um, good and evil but when they failed they were uh, came out of uh, garden of Eden there we find they were in the status of knowing what is good and evil. There they had a, another uh, commandment and uh, they had to do good when they knew what is good and evil and their responsibility is to do the good. But and the evil we find that has increased more and more uh, by the time of, uh, we see, um, at the time of uh, Cain and uh, Abel, there we see, he uh, killed his brother, then he fled from uh, that place. So, one after one, there later we see human government. They want to do on their own something. Mm, there next we see, uh, the period of the promise, dispensation of promise. Then later we find that is also failed, but always whatever in the history that is going on, that is going into the perfection, whatever God has planned, even this evening God is saying, many times though we feel we are not done properly and uh, we consider ourselves as failures but this, is, this evening God is saying He wants us to look unto Him because He already He conquered everything and we are going to achieve victory through His name. In the name of Jesus here, whatever He has planned that certainly that is going to be accomplished. So with God, nothing is impossible. So we, we are supposed to find the plan, what God has on our life. So each one of us, first step for all of us is to get connected to God. When we are connected to God, when we uh, like uh, have fellowship with God, there we can find his plan, what all he has on our lives that can, that can be revealed to us. So in the Bible many times we find the um, men of God, when they were speaking to God or uh, searching for God, then they could find their plan on their lives. So this evening God, he wants us to be serious about the plan of God on our lives. We are meant for something and our lives are very important in the sight of God because the plan what He has on our lives that is going to bless many people. When we look to Abraham, there we find though he was a single person but when he met God, his life became a, a great blessing. So, without God, we are all nothing. But when we can find God, there we can find the plan of God on our lives that is going to bless us, not only us, and will be a great blessing to many people. Amen. Hallelujah. So, when we come to God, there God is saying, He is ready to receive us as His children. So, only with the relationship with God 
as uh, father and son, there we can inherit all his blessings and all his uh, promises. So, as uh, sons, sons are made to, sons uh, or daughters, they are made to uh, inherit the, uh, the whole blessings of their father. So, same thing in our lives. We have many things to receive from God. When we look into the verse in Ephesians first chapter, 17th verse. Can anybody help me reading that verse? Ephesians first chapter. Eighteenth verse. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is like the working of his mighty strength, which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly realms. Amen. Amen. So if you can understand the power and the riches of his glorious inheritance, then we'll be very serious about our lives. So we are uh, given a life to know the riches of God and each one of us having a single life is going to inherit his great riches. So each one we are going to uh, receive the blessings or inheritance whatever from God and there we can find that can be a glorious thing and uh, it is going to be uh, occupied the whole like uh, riches of God. So in the third chapter where we can find in Ephesians about our lives, we belong to the family of God and he is our father and we are his children and the children are meant to inherit what all the father has. And God has everything and he wants his uh, children to inherit the riches, what all he has. Amen. So we are given a great, uh, uh, like a, a choice or uh, we can say a great uh, plan about our lives to inherit the riches of God. Amen. Amen. But the enemy always he wants to steal the steal the lives of the people. He's a thief, we all we know. But God, He came to this world. Jesus, He wants to redeem us from the sin and from the punishment of the uh, sin and the disobedience so that we can be restored back into the lives of a God-given uh, place. So here God is reminding one thing. We should be very serious about the uh, place whatever we are given and if we are ready to achieve the plan what God has on our life there we can find the real rest. Mm -hmm. Till we achieve the plan of God that will be like uh, still roaming mm -hmm. outside his plan. So always we should uh, know and uh, what is the plan of God and we should keep moving towards the goal step by step. So whatever we have understood last year, 
that may not be the same this year. And whatever we under we could understand this year, that cannot be same in the next year. So always we know when we start from a place to go to another place, there we know we should keep moving towards the goal. So we have started from the house. So when the car started, it, and uh, uh, who is uh, leading us, he knew the route and he knew where to take us. Same thing, we all we should lay our lives in the hands of God. There we can find the best we can receive from God. So, always people, they will struggle for something. They want to get something from God. And they feel whatever they have planned that looks so big and uh, keep struggling about their own things. And many times that makes the people to get disappointed. So we all we should come out from our disappointments. No need to depend on our own thoughts. But one thing we should believe, if we lay our lives in the hands of God, certainly He is going to lead us into the perfection. Amen. Certainly we are going to achieve things, whatever already God has kept for us. So Christian life is like a journey towards goal. So when we uh, came to know God, when we accepted God, there, that's a great, uh, it's a, we can say, um, one uh, great responsibility that is lying before us. That is, we should find our place or we can say, we have to find the plan of God and we should fit ourselves in the right place. That is very, very important. If you are not placed properly, then our lives that will be wasted. We should have a right investment to the, um, for the eternal plan. In other sense, we should invest our life into the plan of God. If we are not in the plan of God, then whatever we do in this world, everything that will be wrong investment, our days will be passing away our youth, our strength and our abilities and all the sources or what all given by God that cannot be used properly. So always I really I thank God because He really helped me to know His will about my life. Though I born in a Christian family, raised in a Christian family, I was a uh, regular uh, Sunday, I was going to Sunday regularly. There, I didn't have any connection to God. But one thing I can say, I was restless. I didn't know uh, what will uh, really satisfy my life. So I was searching for the things around me. I was spending my time with my friends. It didn't help me. I thought, uh, through my studies, I thought, I can please my, myself. So it didn't work out. Through movies and all other things, though I was uh, diverting my mind hmm, to have some peace, but I didn't have peace. I was so restless. So, finally, really, God helped me to know Him and to accept Him. And then I became the child of God. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, I really feel I am uh, so um, thankful to God for what He has done in my life. That means I was saved from the, um, we can say, uh, from the destruction. Though my life was in a stage of waste, we will find so much waste every day in our house that will be meant just to 
throw that out. We don't keep that tray in our house. We feel, let's say garbage. And garbage is meant to uh, take that out from our house. So, in this world, God could find us from that garbage and he made us as his children. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, as his child, there, when I was having that fellowship with God, there, God spoke to me certain things. And I was not happy about that because I had a, another plan. Myself, I was uh, literally, I was uh, planning to achieve something. And that was like a, a golden future for me. I want to have a own company of uh, pharmaceuticals so that I can, I can earn so much of money and I can uh, uh, become rich and rich and uh, I can satisfy myself with the things in this world and I can gain uh, riches and all other things. But God was showing me some other thing. Mm -hmm. And it looked as if uh, God is uh, making me to go down. Mm -hmm. Leaving my job, I felt that's a very uh, like a small thing. That means I thought, if I leave my job, there won't be any future. Mm -hmm. But after uh, God he was after me and I was able to resign my job. Then I could find the plan of God on my life. So some of the things we take hold of that and we feel we want that. Mm -hmm. Because always enemy want to attract us by our desires and he will show what to achieve in this world. But when we come to God, and if we are open to God, when we can ask God to show the plan, what He has on our lives, mm -hmm. there that will be very hard for us to make a decision. But one thing I can say, if we obey God, that is that will give us rest. Hallelujah. Amen. Till Amen. I accepted God and obeyed Him, I was restless. But when I accepted God, when I entered into the plan of God, that gave me great peace. So when we are in the hands of God, then certainly that gives us great joy. Nothing will give that much joy apart from His plan. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the plan what God has, that is an eternal plan. That's not... Uh, like uh, accidentally planned by God but already that has kept for us and what the plan whatever that has for us and we are supposed to enter into his plan Amen. and that is what God is expecting us to achieve through our life your life is to achieve something in the plan of God if you are entered into the plan of God, there you will find peace. Amen. Because by experience, I could see how it will be. If I, if I, were, if I was not entered into the plan of God, mm -hmm. that life before entering into the plan, it was different. I didn't have any hope about my life. Though uh, I had everything, I lacked nothing, my parents were looking after me very nicely and uh, everything, what all uh, I can get in this world, I was getting, but I didn't have peace. Mm -hmm. So, there, I can say, in that uh, situation, I was so restless and I was just planning myself to commit suicide. 
I thought there is uh, uh, nothing to do in this world. I felt everything that is waste because uh, I tried myself to get peace but I was not getting. And once when I was working in a company, even I tried to commit suicide. I brought those pills, sleeping tablets, because I was in the manufacturing department. I will get uh, uh, more uh, powerful uh, tablets there. I know which will be very powerful. And I took those tablets and I felt I'm not getting any peace in this world. I'm not having any joy. I felt my life is waste. So I thought it's better to um, leave this world. So after having my dinner, I took those tablets. It got into my stomach. Then I had a question, where will I go now? There I found, my God, what, a, what is going to happen now? But already got inside. The gas gone. There. I don't, I don't know how I went into, uh, it may be, uh, I was unconscious. I was on the bed, so my parents, they couldn't find uh, any different. But later in the morning, by God's grace, I got up from my sleep. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> so that I'm here today. Yes. But I have gone through a... Uh, some uh, problem with my nervous system. I was I became very weak. But one thing, though I want to end up my life there, God is so gracious, and He really helped me to get into His plan. So God is asking us to come out from that sleep, come out from that uh, deadliness mm -hmm. and come out from uh, the from the life which is uh, uh, separate from God. Mm -hmm. If you get into the life of God, there will be very safe. So after knowing God, when I accepted and uh, planned to uh, do his will there then I could taste the goodness of God mm -hmm. then I realized how great and a blessing to serve the Lord mm -hmm. if you are in the God wants you to be in the job you should be there if, you God, if God wants you to be in business be there if God wants you to be uh, in the full time ministry you should come out but either if you are in a job or a business or full time, one thing I can say, everyone, those who have accepted Jesus, should serve God. Everybody in that church, they are full time. There is no half time. You can't say, I am half time for God and the other half my own. No. Even doing job also in the purposes of God, we should do that service as God wants us to do. That is very important. If God wants you to study, you should study. And uh, wherever we are kept, we should be faithful to God and we should glorify God from our place. So when I started experiencing His power and the presence, because when I got into the ministry there, I could, I could feel uh, myself working with God that was so uh, encouraging and enjoying. Many times people, they say, I have some other work and they used to leave me. And finally, when I was uh, left alone, then I, I used to say, God, Lord, that's okay. Even I too, I want to go and meet my friends and I have other jobs. But I am very much delighted to stay back and work with you. Yeah. Then I used to talk to God and uh, yeah, I have seen even sometimes 
literally angels they help me in the work yes. when i experienced all these things then i started praying about my sisters they also they should have this experience and they also should be blessed so later all my sisters also uh, they um, got into the ministry and uh, one thing i can say our purpose god's purpose on our lives that is meant for us and uh, that say eternal plan of god if we if we catch hold of that plan there we can find great success in our lives so nothing in this world that is going to satisfy us except the plan of god when we enter into the plan of god and he going to renew our life i was in a uh, like uh, health wise i was very weak many times i uh, was uh, almost gone near to death but when i got into the ministry when i dedicated myself to god and everything that has restored back i'm living today that is only because of god hallelujah because i i know one thing the plan what god has and he is going to accomplish in my life through my life for that whatever that is required that is going to uh, going to be given to me amen nothing is going to uh, separate me from the plan of god Hallelujah. this evening you are going to be a great blessing to many people amen if you are in the plan of god amen. and you are uh, answerable to god Hallelujah. about what you are given so that is what we see in hebrew third chapter about uh, moses and it is very clearly said moses was faithful as a servant in all god's house testifying to what would be said in the future but christ is faithful as a son over god's house so whatever the responsibility we are holding in other sense the plan what god has that belongs to the house of god and the part of our responsibility that is going to um, built that should be built on behalf of us and we should complete our responsibility as a good stewards amen amen so when a house is built that is the combination of uh, many things one after one that has to put over uh, in the construction so that finally we'll find the building whole building same way we have a place in the house of god we cannot uh, go and occupy somebody's place our place is meant only for us we should we are not we can't fit in others place so whatever the responsibility we are given if we are faithful there we are going to receive reward from god and that lives in this world they are going very fast and they serve so bad and we see so many uh, dreadful things are happening in this world but when we look to god then the plan what god has on our lives and that is going to be accomplished only by god amen so let us uh, commit ourselves in the hands of god so that we can obey god and to glorify him amen. and uh, whatever god has planned on your life 
as we are praying, God is going to take away all the obstacles, whatever hindering your life. And God is going to give you great peace and the rest in your mind. Amen. So, when we commit ourselves to God, then certainly He is going to reveal His plan on our lives. We should have that uh, communion with God. He will speak to us. So, the whole Bible, that is the revelation from God to His people. And even that revelation that is meant for us. So when we can receive his revelation, his word, there we are going to have peace. And that word helps us to go further. And it will show us the root map to reach our goal. Amen. To reach the goal, what God has kept for us. And this is very important than our worldly GPS. Mm. This is the right thing and perfect. There won't be any mistakes. Sometimes in India, if I open GPS, so I, when I'm driving, so whatever the GPS says, I will turn left, right, left. One day what happened, it has gone to the dead end. I don't know what to do. <laughs> the GPS that uh, couldn't find the way out. So finally we had to take some other route, but there we could find some mistake. But in God, we are not going to uh, end up at the dead end. There is no dead end in God. Amen. He leads us perfectly Amen. till our end. Amen. Amen. Let us uh, have faith on God. Hallelujah. And if we believe God that he is going to lead us and if you are happy and if you are really having great faith on him, there we can find the route. Pray to God. Let us pray to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Look to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is in our midst. He is looking unto you. Hallelujah. And he is speaking to you. Yes. You are my beloved child. Yes, Lord. I knew you before you have formed in your mother's womb. Hallelujah. I have dedicated you for a purpose. Don't get discouraged by the things what are happening around you. Don't it's trouble. Don't struggle yourself with your own ideas and plans. Surrender yourself to me. Be open for my purpose. I'll speak to you. I'm the one I'm going to guide you. I'll take you to the perfection. I'm Leave your life in my hands. I'm the one I'm going to take you to the perfection. God is reminding as he let Israelites on the wings of the he led them to the promised land as an eagle carries his little ones on the wings. Same way, he led his people and he brought them safe to the promised land. Lord, we believe you and we know you are a great God faithful God and you are the one Lord you have delivered us from the hands of the enemy thank you Lord for saving our lives and the plan what you have on our lives Lord here we commit ourselves into your hands 
Lord, we are ready to obey you. Guide us so that, Lord, we will glorify your name. Strengthen us, Lord. Whatever the doubts and the, Lord, disturbance we have, Lord, you are the one. You are going to help us to come out from our past. Help us to obey you and to enter into your plan. Bless each one of us here, Lord. Whatever, Lord, here, Lord, your dear ones are going through, we take authority and we command all those obstacles to leave in Jesus. Strengthen us, Lord. Help us to have that faith and to rest in you, Lord. Be with us as we are in the end days. As, Lord, we are seeing the things in this world are going worse and worse. But we know with you everything that is going to, Lord, get strengthened day by day, Lord. Those who are in you, Lord, we know we are going to... <coughs> Lord, go upward like the eagle, Lord. Bless each one of us and bless this family. Bless this house, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. May God bless you. Amen. Amen.